Welcome everybody, this is JC and uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another one of my videos. Happy August the 1st y'all. Um, I know you guys are excited, maybe you're not, I am because school is going to start soon and I can't wait to send my kids back to school, <laughs> alright? And um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to one of my videos. I know your time and your day are very special and precious and for you to tune in to watch this video, I appreciate it very much. And I'm just gonna get into it real quick. Oh, shout out to Safeki or Safi. Sorry for mispronouncing the name. Um, soon as I get the beta software, I'm gonna do the, the testing on the internet that you want me to test out. Alright? Shout out to you. But anyway, I'm on my phone doing some research and I'm on the road trying to get some snacks. And I come across this um art article by VGC. Thank you guys for this information. This was released 11 hours ago. And check this out, everybody. I know it's been a hot topic on everybody because Sony sent out the beta software of, um, for the internal SSD so people could test it out and it also comes with a new features in it as well that's going to be released soon it's going to have um, 3D audio and visual trophies and all of that stuff but anyway I think this is um, the meat of the matter this is what everybody wants to find out internal SSD what type, what type, will, be, um, what type will I be able to use and what are the specs in terms of um, the speed, the gen, whatever it is. I think this is what everybody is more interested in than the other things. So I'll scroll right here and I'll peep this right here. Let me read it for you guys. PS5 architect Mark Kearney has revealed his SSD of choice. Now remember, Mark Kearney, he is the architect behind the PS5, the PS Vita, the PS4. So this guy knows the, the system inside and out. So if anybody I should take some takes word take a word from it will be him because he know this all right and um, let me scroll down real quick scroll down real quick there's a quick reading right here blah 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 okay let me read right here real quick PS5 finally enabled SST storage expansion this week via an update rollout to beta beta users I signed up months ago Sony I'm still waiting come on send me the software update all right. I got um I got some subscribers that want to want to know what's going on. So please send me the software update. I would really appreciate it, Sony. Thank you very much. Alright. And um so far, two manufacturers have confirmed drives compatible with Sony's long list of requirements. And um that's Seagate and Western Digital. Just to, just to divert a little bit. If you hear my accent, yes, I'm a born Jamaican. So yeah, I'm a Jamaican. Just to, just to let you all know, I'm a Jamaican, alright? <laughs> alright, anyway. In a message published by Published on Twitter, Kearney, who designed the PS5 hardware along with PS4 and Vita, revealed that he opted for the latter brand and purchased a WD Black SN850 with his thing. Okay, let me pause right here real quick. If you guys um check it out, I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the, the play I'm gonna leave the, the link or the, no I'm gonna leave the, the video when I'm finished on, on this one on what I did with the Western Digital. 850 what i'm saying what i'm saying is this i did a video four weeks ago i have the i have the, the western digital 850 what um what i call it mark kearney have or or he or he's on to or he's throwing his um his endorsement behind but i don't have the heat sink i bought it to use it in the inside the enclosure that i have the video is there you can go in my playlist and um look for it it's right there wd sn850 and I'm gonna leave the video. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to the video also at the end of this one right here. And I caught and I said it uh, when Sony did not give their specifications of which brand, uh, which brand they'll be using, or will, will they, they would allow to use their internal inside internal SSD inside their PS5. And I called the WD850 as one of them. If I recall, if I recall perfectly, four weeks ago in one of my video, I called WD. SN850 as one of the S internal SSD that would be compatible with Sony and the architect saying that um he opted for the ladder which is this one with heat sink I don't have heat sink but I'm thinking of buying it too anyway let me just sc scroll down manufacturer Western Digital first confirmed to VGC that its premium SSD was compatible with PlayStation 5 earlier this week the SN850 retails for $139.99 that's in the US and 149.99 that's in the English pound. 
for the 500 gigabytes that's the one i have right now 249.99 in the us or 280.99 in the pounds uk money for one terabyte and 429.99 or 552.99 in the british pound for two terabytes i think that's pretty cheaper than the than the um than the fire coder and i like it anyway and that's with the heating too okay i'm gonna skip right there this is it this is what it looks like this is what the in that's what um the the wd s and a50 looks like with the heat sink the box i have the same exact one the box it looks it look very identical but the thing is i don't have the heat sink i'm gonna get it i'm gonna show you guys real quick at the near ending of the video what it looks like in amazon and the prices for different types all right let me show right here this is a tweet from mark kearney our solution to our very active two gamer ps5 household his and hers ssds <laughs> with a smiley face very cool guy couple of awesome options for 700 for the, for 7000 megabytes ended up putting my money down on this one going to be sweet yes yes um this is one of the specs that's the reason why i got it over four weeks ago now the price is jumping up because um the spec the 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 min, the, the requirements sony um asks for the internal speed to be is at least 5500 megabytes that's their requirements and this one got 7000 will it make a difference leave your comments and let me know what you think it, it it's it's um it's to be seen we'll see if the extra 1500 megabytes speed is going to make a difference in terms of um boarding uploading downloading and all of that all right let's go along further current appear to also give his blessing to the fire code 530 sst made by seagate on sunday that's a, uh, that's also a good brand too it's also the, the fire code is pr pretty good but few people uh, with their reviews on amazon kind of have a iffy about it that was the 530 that's the 520 the 530 some people haven't given it full blessing yet because it's too expensive and i would I, I would suggest to you guys you i would not suggest that you guys go right now and buy any internal ssd because things can change when sony ready to send ready to send out the software to everybody they may change a little specifications here and there but for me i'm taking my chances i already i already got the the western digital sn 850 on deck and i'm good to i'm ready to go but i'm going to spend some more money because i want to get the one with the heat sink but anyway let me let me continue on twitter the engineer liked a tweet asking if the rifle drive was also a good option for expanding playstation internal storage seagate was the first storage manufacturer to declare one one of its ssd to be compatible with the ps5 it's fire cool 530 with a heat sink with a heat sink all right with a heat sink attached will cost 169.99 for 500 gigabytes 274.99 for one terabyte uh -huh. and 1000 this is the one that this is the one that kicking me kicking me in the nuts right here 1050 dollars for four terabyte with heat sink man that's crazy that's crazy all right <laughs> and i think the speed if i if when i reach when i checked it out the speed for the fire cooler is the same as the western digital 7000 megabytes but will that speed make a difference that's what we're going to find out when we get it when we get the testing all right and i'll be the one to test it for you guys as soon as sony send me the software update but um for that price my money is on western is, is on western digital all right for price wise sony released a full set of requirements for compatible ssd this week but stress that even some ssd that meet the requirements may still not work so sony is letting y'all know hey this is there we are covering it behind don't think that uh, we said it's we sending you the 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 we giving you the blessing with the software update that means it may work it may it may work and it may not work and it may mess up the system and we're letting y'all know if it messed up it's not our fault so it's only covering up their their their, their rear right here All right as such the 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 onus has been placed on storage manufacturers to confirm which of their ssds are compatible now everybody want piece of the pie because as you can know sony i think it was this week or was it last week i sent out that um they crossed the 10 million consoles sold that is insane it, 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 it blows the ps4 out of the water 
in its first year by a, by a, by a large margin. That is insane. And unfortunately, some of you guys are watching this video. Um, you still haven't get it yet because it's hard because the bots be snatching them up when you go on Walmart and um and um Best Buy GameStop is unfair. So they need to pump out some more. All right. So I right, so be patient, guys. I hope that they pump up more soon so you guys can enjoy. Because it's unfair for us be showing these things on um, YouTube and you guys sitting there just watching and not enjoying it. I feel bad for y'all. But but it's good, it's, it's better to be an informed consumer than an uninformed one. So that's why these videos are to give you a better information. So when you get it, you better be prepared on what to do when you get yours in time. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let me scroll along a little bit some more. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up right here. The storage expansion has been one of the most requested features since PS5 launched in November last year. But its role has been hampered by the need of off-the-shelf drives to match the high specification of PS5 own high bandwidth SSDs. Yep, right. While players can currently attach an external drive to the PlayStation 5 via USB, they aren't capable of playing PS5 games, which is true. And I have a few videos. If you could check in my, if you could check in my playlist, there's a few videos where I show you that because I have the Sony, I have the Samsung T5, T7s, and I got a quite a few external that I connect to my PlayStation 5. But I also, I believe in one of my video, I emphasize that you only can store games on it. You can't play games off of it. The only games you can play off the externals is the PlayStation 4 games. So bear that in mind. All right. And it says right here, they aren't capable of playing PS5 games. They can only be used for playing PlayStation 4 games and can also store PS5 games currently not in use so they can be copied to the console's main SSD storage when they're ready to be played. That's all that's all it does. All right. Okay. I'm going to finish up right here. And then I'm going to show you the Western Digital in the Amazon that I have that I have right here that I'm about to buy. And um in the following weeks I'm going to show you some heat sinks in my next videos and some SSDs with heat sinks in it and the prices so you guys can have an idea. Okay? All right. Let me just continue. Let me just wrap it up real quick. In order to extend the main SSD storage for playing PS5 games, players will need to buy a high-speed M.2 SSD that meets Sony requirements and attach it to the console internal SSD mount, which is currently inactive for everyone except beta users. So hold on guys, so hold on, all right? This is just my opinion. How can companies make money? These companies, don't, they, don't, they don't make money off the console so much. Because anybody can buy a console. Because let me just give you a, a short story real quick. Back in the early 2000s, I used to work at Just for Feet Shoe Store. Um, they are not in business no more. That was my first job, and I loved them very much. When I was working at Just for Feet, they everybody come to Just for Feet just to buy shoes. All right, if anybody out there in YouTube world that remember Just for Feet, y'all know what I'm talking about. And if, if there was any former employee of Just for Feet back in the days, y'all know where I'm going with this. When you work at the Just For Feet, everybody come in here for one thing and one thing only, to buy shoes. Now, they don't really make money off the shoes. The managers, supervisors emphasize that, um, when we come to work, they emphasize on selling accessories because that's where they make their money. Shoes already got insoles, but it's saying if you buy this thicker insole, this more expensive insole, it will give you more support for your feet. It's better, and you got different type of insoles. You got insoles for running, for your running shoes, and for your walking shoes, and they all do the same thing: give you extra support, and it costs extra money. So you could buy a ten dollar shoes and put in a fifty dollar um, insole, and the shoe may be crappy, but at least it, it, it gives your feet the, the support it needs. It's taking off the, the, extra, the extra shock and um, stress when you're standing or when you're running. So, the manager, they used to have a, a percentage where the, the accessory percentage got to be at a certain amount. If it drops to a certain amount, they push, sell more accessories, sell more accessories. Don't focus on selling shoes, sell the accessories because that's where the company makes their money. What we am getting with this? I'm glad to, glad, to, glad to answer that for you. Let me just scroll over the screen real quick while I get it, while I get it ready. Uh oh, where did I go? Okay. What, where I'm getting with this is this. Sony, a lot of people think that Sony making money just on selling consoles. No. Sony, maybe right now, 
they're selling the consoles at a loss. They, even though they said they sell over 10 million, which is killing the, killing the game, but still, in reality, they're not making a boatload of money off selling only the consoles. They make the money selling, the, selling accessories, things that's going to enhance the gaming experience. For example, headphones, controllers, and, um, and games. Games, especially. You can't have a successful console war or a generation without the console having games. So that's one thing Sony been killing it for a while. Sony got exclusive. That's why a lot of these companies, uh, Microsoft buying Bethesda and Sony buying up some other more companies, whoever they are, because they realize the more games, the more exclusive they have, the better the chance to coming out on top for the generation. All right. So when I'm when I'm getting this, this Sony with them doing this. And I believe it was pre-planned by them. It was pre-planned by them when they, when they created the PlayStation 5 and built the external external port in there and um and doing what they're doing. If you want to make money, you got to sell accessories. So Sony saying, okay, if we can boost up the memory, if we can get if if the more memory, if we can get customers to buy memory cards to boost up the memory of the console, the chance of them buying more games is great. So it's a win-win for us and the third party they make a little change on the side they make a little per they, they make a little money so it's all about the hustle it's, a, it's all a big hustle it's a hustle all right but bear that in mind so everybody's gonna want a piece of the pie and since sony is the hottest sony PlayStation 5 is the hottest console on the market right now i guarantee you all these big boys right here let me get back out here all the big boys gonna want a piece of the pie so for the early stages the price is gonna be high but as Sony approves more companies, um, internal SSDs, the price is going to drop. So for the first couple months, it's going to be high. And I'm predicting it. I could be wrong. I'm not Nostradamus. But anyway, I believe they're going to send out the software update in November to mark the one year anniversary. Because around that time, near Christmas, near the holiday seasons, that's when that's when parents want to buy games for the for the kids buy accessories the cool remote the cool earphones the cool controllers for the for the for their gaming system because everybody every parent want to make the kids happy even as grown folks too so so sony see it as a win-win so that's why sony is not in any rush because they know that there's a need you see in business you got to create supply and demand all right and that's what sony doing so anyway i'm talking too much i'm sorry but this is what it is I think Sony's gonna release it in the holiday season to mark the one year anniversary, and they're gonna put at least Sony's gonna pump out some great games. And most of these games take up a lot of memory. So how to make money, sell games, but also sell memory. And Sony's gonna sell gonna put out their own type of internal, and I think it's gonna cost more money, but it's all about the hustle. Remember that. So that's why Sony is pushing out this beta, and um people are not mind people selling um the internals so so they could make money too so anyway enough of me talking this is what i want to show you guys real quick this is what i want to get right here which i'm i'm going to get eventually is a western digital look right here in the top left corner western digital black the two terabyte sn850 remember now the p the the internal that you have to buy you have to be at least a nvme right and it got to be gen 4 right it right there right there let me see if i could highlight it i can't highlight it or oh, whatever got to be gen 4 at least with an m.2 and this is one of the specifications i'm gonna mark this one right here i never could mark it i'm gonna try to mark it because i'm doing everything on my phone right there 2280 don't forget that 2280 is one of the is one of the requirements all right let me cancel that yeah that's what it is right here all right so right here the two terabytes with the heat sink is for 567 dollars and it's in stock right now at amazon so i guarantee you in a, in a few it, it's going to be gone it's going to be gone people are going to snatch it up all right and they have the one terabyte as i'll show you right here with heat sink but right here they said they got options two options for 6, 624 i ain't going to do that crap i'd rather just get the two terabyte and the cheaper right now with the heat sink and also for the budget many people right here um, you got a 500 gigabytes with the heatsink for 164 MD on Amazon. So if you can, get it. If you don't want to and you want to wait, ain't nothing wrong with waiting. Trust me. It's, be you better be it's better to be safe than sorry. Also, before I go, 
if you choose not to go this route, if you choose to, if say for example Sony allow a lot of third parties to you to, to, to use their internals inside the inside the PS5, they're gonna they, they're gonna have uh, they're not gonna sell it with heat sink. And um, they got several heat sinks on the market right now, but Sony the slot that the internal is in is very limited. So Sony is very specific on the dimensions. And um, I think I think the, the width is gotta be 25. I think the width is gotta be 25 millimeters and the length has to be at least 80 millimeters. All right? So Sony is very specific. But one thing I like about this Western Digital is fit perfectly. I'm gonna show it right here. Let me see if I can pick it up real quick. See right here in the, in the width area is 23.4 millimeters. That means, and I remember I told you earlier, it's 25 millimeters, but this fits perfect, all right? And the length right here, 80 millimeters, boom. So it's gonna fit like a glove, all right? And this little thing right here, eight, for the space right here, eight, that eight millimeters. So this one gonna fit perfectly without any, without any trouble. You won't have any trouble screwing it in you won't compromise the system at all so this is perfect right here guys so you know this was this has been a pretty long video but i really appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me and i'll uh, get some information and i hope i was helpful i hope i didn't bore you guys and uh, if i did bore you guys i apologize but i'm working on it because i'm doing everything for my iphone right now all right and um like i said feel free to leave your comments hit the likes because it helps the video a lot and um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And um, for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers, you know what to do. Share this information with everybody, your friends, your coworkers, whoever you can, okay? And um, for all you guys that subscribe to my channel, I want to be the one to always appreciate and acknowledge you guys. Because if it was not for you, I, I would not be where I am today. So all those subscribers, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And for all the what all the viewers from all over the world, whatever country you're from and you're watching this content and all my other contents, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay? I love you guys. And I every day, I think my wife is getting annoyed of me because she always see me trying to look for look for contents to, to review. But this is what I do. I love I love people and I like to help people and I like to inform people. This is what I build in a community. So anyway, enough of me yapping. This is JC, and um, like I said, look, look, stay tuned for the videos are going to be pumping out in the next few weeks. And the ones are going to be pumping out is going to be with different internal SSDs and with the heat sinks. And I'm going to have a list of heat sinks that's selling on Amazon for some for some prices. I'm going to show. I'm going to make sure that their 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 specification meets Sony's. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Love.